This is a video that looks at the reaction between sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid. It is used to work out the relationship between concentration and the rate of reaction. In the experiment, sulfur is produced, a yellow solid. The production of the yellow solid will obscure the cross. The time taken for the cross to disappear is related to the rate of reaction. The longer it takes, the slower the rate of reaction. You are going to time how long it takes for the cross to be obscured by the sulphur measured in seconds to the nearest second. You can use the video camera in order to um, record this or the stopwatch. When I mix the sodium thiosulfate with the hydrochloric acid, I will start the stopwatch, but you may also look at the video timer. The first solution that we use is 40 grams per cubic decimeter of sodium thiosulfate. This is our most concentrated solution, and I'm going to use 25 cm cubed of this. I'm using a measuring cylinder. I'm going to add to it 5 cm cubed of dilute hydrochloric acid. I will add it, I will start the stopwatch, and then swirl. Okay, the second experiment uses a lower concentration. We're going to create the lower concentration by mixing 20 cm cubed of the 40 gram per cubic decimeter uh, sodium thiosulfate with 5 cm cubed of water. This will give us a concentration of 32 grams per cubic decimeter. So the new experiment works with 32 grams per cubic decimeter, 20 cm cubed of thiosulfate, 5 cm cubed of distilled water. However, the experiment is exactly the same and you will need to measure the time taken for the cross to disappear in seconds to the nearest second. So the second experiment As I add the 5 cm cubed of thiosulfate, I will start the stopwatch and then swirl. Okay, the third experiment, we are going to dilute it down this time by three-fifths. So we will use 15 cm cubed of the sodium thiosulfate and 10 cm cubed of water. And again, I will start the stopwatch during the addition and give it one swirl.
and your job is to record to the nearest second the point at which the cross can no longer be seen. Okay, we continue to diminish the concentration of the thiosulfate. This time we are down to two fifths of the original. We will mix together 10 cm cubed of the sodium thiosulfate with, five, with 15 cm cubed of the distilled water. This is now down to a two-fifths dilution, which means the concentration is 16 grams per cubic decimeter. As before, 5 cm cubed of hydrochloric acid. As expected, a diminishing concentration of the sodium thiosulfate means that the sulphur precipitate is forming at a slower rate and the cross is taking longer to be obscured. The final experiment then is the lowest concentration. This time we're going to dilute it down by one fifth, which means that we have only 5 cm cubed of the sodium thiosulfate and 20 cm cubed of water. You'll notice that in each experiment, the total volume of the sodium thiosulfate solution, including the water, is always 25 cm cubed, so that the volume, the total volume of the sodium thiosulfate solution is not a, uh, another factor that we would need to take into account. So the final experiment, just 5 cm cubed of the thiosulfate, 20 cm cubed of the of water, which means that the concentration is down to 8 grams per cubic decimeter. Same instructions as before. So halfway through the addition. And we'd anticipate this one being the longest of the experiments. When we have finished, we will take the value in seconds, uh, not in minutes and seconds, but in seconds, and we will look at the rate of reaction as being one over the time taken in seconds, and see if there is a simple relationship between the concentration and the rate of reaction when it is expressed as one over the time taken. 